Hello, my name is Thomas Key and I am President and CEO of Stock Traders Daily. Today we're going to talk about the strategic plan strategy. This is a strategy I designed to take advantage of market conditions. I did this in January of 2009 and the strategy is a risk controlled strategy that is rule based. I think you'll find it interesting what this strategy has done since January of 2009 even though it's risk controlled. We're going to talk about all kinds of things pertaining to this strategic plan strategy in this presentation. Before I get started, I want you to think about a couple things. Let's talk about stimulus for a second. And I'm going to ask you a question about it. Do you think stimulus helped to influence asset prices higher over the past few years? And without stimulus, do you feel that the market could be subject to an added degree of volatility? Think about that as we continue with this presentation. What I found, because I have my finger on the pulse of investors in general, because I've been doing stock traders daily for so long and I communicate with them on a regular basis, what I found is there's two types of investors that are out there right now. One type applies to this particular slide. Some of you have been in this malaise for the past few years, just not even believing that the market's been increasing like this and leaving you behind because you don't believe in the economy. You don't believe what's happening. And instead, you've been kind of back against a wall sitting there and waiting for something else to happen that's never happened. You've been in this malaise and you've not been embracing the market for what it is, but you should. And hopefully this strategy is going to allow you to break through that wall and start to be rewarded from what this market is offering. So hopefully those of you who have been in this malaise can break out of it. But there's another type of person that's out there, isn't there? There's this type of person that's been sitting back and just reaping the rewards because, geez, this market's been doing well. Asset prices have been moving up, housing and stock market prices. It's all been doing well. But you know what? I think that's changing now, and I think you need to change your hat along with it. I think you need to adapt to changing market conditions. I think your investments deserve it. And it's really based on the fact that stimulus is over. And that added volatility that's likely to come because stimulus is over requires you to do a little more work. And we all know it. We might not like it, but hard work pays off. And this is a time that we actually need to get back to work. Everyone likes it to be easy, but it's just not always as easy as it's been for the past few years, is it? We're not in Kansas anymore. And now the market requires you to be nimble and to adapt to it. And that means that we need a strategy that can work no matter what happens. And that's what makes the stock, the strategic plan strategy special. The strategic plan strategy has characteristics that are perfect for this market environment. It embraces the market for what it is and it adjusts to the market when it has to. And I bet you will not find a similar strategy anywhere. We're not a traditional strategy, by the way. And in fact, traditional advisors are going to tell you that what we do is not really possible. But guess what? We've been doing it. It is possible. And that's what we're going to talk about in this presentation. I also want to make sure that we all recognize that there are countless investment opportunities out there. But few of them are as nimble as the strategic plan strategy. And it is that quality, that nimble quality, that allows us to adjust as the market moves. I'll add something else though. If you like the combination of risk control and performance, you'll probably love the strategic plan strategy best because that's what it offers. I'm going to start by recognizing that there's noise everywhere, right? And in fact, you're probably looking at your handheld right now. Stop doing it for a minute, please. Just noise is distracting. And I think that this presentation deserves your attention. It's not going to last that long. I think you'll be happy that you just put down your phone for a minute and listen to what this says. We're going to keep it very simple. But in addition to that, you're going to recognize as we go through these rules and, and the strategy itself that it's a very simple strategy. Think of it this way. 
in order to make money no matter what happens to the market, you need a proven strategy that adapts automatically to the changing market environment. The reason you want something that adopts autom ad adapts automatically is so you don't have to adapt yourself all the time as the market changes. So you want a strategy that does it automatically. At least that would make it a lot easier to navigate the market given what we know. A proven strategy that adapts automatically sure makes it easier. Well, guess what? That's what the strategic plan strategy does. It is a proven strategy that adapts automatically. It has a great performance history, excellent long-term track record. It can work in up or down markets. It has integrated risk controls. It is a rule-based strategy, and you can do it by yourself. If, if you don't want to do it by yourself, there's also a managed account option. We'll talk about all of that. First, let's get to performance. We started this thing in January of 2009. Since then, the S&P 500 has been on a tear, probably in one of the most aggressive bull markets we have ever seen. The strategic plan strategy is outpacing the S&P 500 fractionally. We're up about 151% since our inception. The S&P 500 is somewhere near 121%. So we're doing better than the S&P 500. Not substantially, but better. But there is something here, if you're a seasoned investor, that actually is jumping out significantly to you. This is a rule-based strategy. This is a risk-controlled strategy. And strategies like this tend to lag behind the market considerably when the market experiences bull runs. Well, this is the most aggressive bull run that many of us have ever seen. And, the, and this particular strategy, the strategic plan strategy, is outperforming. It's not lagging like most other risk-controlled strategies are. It's significantly outperforming the S&P 500. There's something to be said about that. In addition to that, Look at what it's done over the past year. The strategic plan strategy is up 43% versus the market up 10%. It's interesting to note that as the volatility started to increase, the performance of the strategic plan strategy started to increase. It's interesting. It adapts to the market. Also notice though, there was a period of time when there, were nothing, there was nothing being done. We were in cash for about five months in 2014. There were no trading triggers. This thing did not execute a trade for about five months. Cash is an integral component of this strategy. So let's get to the basics. What are the basic characteristics? Well, the strategic plan strategy is based on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It can make money when the market increases, and it can make money when the market falls. The strategic plan strategy trades two ETFs exclusively. DDM, that's the double long for the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and DXD, which is the double short for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And we've been doing it since 2009. It averages about 40 trades per year on average. The interesting part, though, for many of you, is that it's never actually short. When it shorts, it buys the short-based ETF, and that makes it okay for IRAs. So if you're considering this for your IRA, you can do it in your IRA account. What we do is we supply parameters every weekend through Stock Traders Daily to our clients. And these parameters are what we use to base our trading decisions on. And I'll explain how we do that. But the important takeaway is these parameters give us the guiding hand. So what are the operation? The operations are pretty basic. When support is tested, we buy the double long ETF. And when resistance is tested, we buy the double short ETF. And that's basically it. There are rules. We're going to talk about the rules. But it's as simple as that. When support is tested, we buy. When resistance is tested, we short. And we need to keep it simple. If we do that, it's effective. That's what we've been doing since January 2009. But again, there are more details. So what are the rules of this strategy? We're going to talk about them. It's important, though, that we define everything so when we're in a rule-based strategy, everything needs to be defined. We need to know what the entry rule is. We need to know what the stop-loss rule is. 
We need to know what the re-entry rule is. The profit target rule. But the most important rule of them all is that we actually follow the rules. There are no excuses. We need to follow the rules in order to achieve the returns. Let's talk about each one of them. First, the entry rule. We call this our 25-point rule. If the Dow Jones Industrial Average is within 25 points of one of those parameters, a trade is triggered. There's no flexibility here, though. It's not 30 points. It's not 35 points. It's 25 points. There's a 25-point rule, and a trading trigger surfaces. Our entry rule is when the market is within 25 points of one of our parameters. The stop loss rule is based on the position that we take. If it's DDM, our stop loss is one half of 1% from our entry level. If it's DXD, that same one half of 1% stop loss rule applies. No matter what it is, one half of 1% from our entry in the ETF is our stop loss rule. It's not market based here. It's based on the ETF entry level. Our re-entry rule is simple. We go back to the 25-point rule. So if we're stopped, then we go back to the 25-point rule and we evaluate where the market is in respect to our parameter given the 25-point rule. If the 25-point rule applies, then we make a trade. If it does not apply, then we don't. It's pretty simple. But then we also have a profit target rule. And our profit target rule is a 10% goal. Okay, that's what we're looking for. However, there's some characteristics that we should observe. Okay? If we're approaching 10%, but not quite there, let's say 8 9%, it's important that we implement a profit stop. So we should implement a profit stop because we'd hate to see a gain like that turn around and, and we end up losing on the trade, right? So we want to put a profit stop in when we have gains like that. In addition to that, if the profit does exceed 10%, we can exit the trade without triggering a profit stop. That's okay. But then there's another condition, a third condition that might trigger taking profits. And that is, if we go from parameter 1 to parameter 2, and parameter 2 is tested according to the 25-point rule, but we don't have 10% in gains, well, that still constitutes taking profit, right? So it's either using a profit stop when we get close to 10%, we just take profits outright if we're over 10%, or a parameter is tested before we get to our 10% goal. That's our profit target rule. Now, that's nice, and everyone likes that, but it's really not the most important rule, is it? The most important rule is that you need to follow the rules. If you don't follow the rules, you're not going to get return. It's as simple as that. But there's no room for excuses here, right? If you can't do it, there's an option. Equity logic can do the work for you. You have to ask and inquire. But there's no excuses here. If you don't follow the rules, you're not going to get the returns. And the returns are proven to work. So I think it makes sense if you're going to engage the strategy to follow the rules. The beauty is, though, that this volatility that we all expect, you know what? This strategy allows us to embrace that volatility. Some people are afraid of it. Not us. Not us. This is what makes this strategy work so well. Bring on the volatility. The strategic plan is meant for this. But of course, right? What's the catch? There's a catch to all of it. When you, when, when you have something as good as this, there's always a catch, right? Well, there is a catch here. You know what the catch is? The catch is that you must pay attention and you must follow the rules and you must make every trade. Otherwise, you're not going to get the return. That's the catch. So you need to ask yourself if you want to do that. Now, I told you there's an option. There is options. There's two options here. You can either do it yourself or there's a managed account option. We're going to talk about both of those. Okay? First of all, if you want to do it yourself, go to StockTradersDaily.com. That's where I'm going to give you the parameters every weekend. I'm going to give you the parameters so you know what the parameters are every weekend. In addition to that, we're going to provide you with a list of all of the rules so that you can go back and re-review the rules in case you forget anything. It's always going to be there for you. In addition to that, we're going to confirm triggers in our newsletters after they happen. 
And that way, you'll be able to compare what you did against what we did to make sure that you're doing it right all the time. And then we're there to support you too. Okay? It's only a short, maybe an hour or two turnaround time in our Q&A. So if you have any questions, we're there to answer your questions. If you want to do this yourself, go to StockTradersDaily.com. However, if you want somebody to do it for you, Equity Logic is your choice. Go to EquityLogic.net and fill out a disclosure form. Equity Logic will do all the work for you. We know all the rules. We'll make the trades. We'll watch the market. We'll do the work. So you don't have to. In addition, something that many people find interesting, we brought a manager on that used to be a partner at Goldman Sachs to manage this strategy for our clients. And we're going to use the S&P 500 to do that. So if you're interested in the managed account option, go to equitylogic.net and fill out a disclosure form and we'll tell you all about it. If you want to do it yourself, go to stocktradersdaily.com to get that information. If you have any questions for me and you'd like me to address them, you can find me by going to Stock Traders Daily or Equity Logic. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this presentation.